You know what you do is up easy with you coming to you guys the video today in this video i am reviewing the miz's new movie santa's little helper this movie tonight was the tv premiere so i was like you know what let's check this thing out guys by the way before this review starts like i'm like really sleepy like I'm, like, really sleepy, so, like, if this review seems a little, like, mixed up or something like that, or, like, certain, like, like, certain parts I messed up on, it's probably because, like, I'm, like, really tired. Like, my eyes are getting, like, water. Like, I'm really tired right now. Like, I remember at the end of the movie, like, I was about to fall asleep. Like, I I'm, I'm really tired right now. But I was like, you know what? Still going to put out a video today for my beastly ones and that exactly what i'm doing right now the movie starts off with this guy named dax the miz the miz's character and i think that's his name like i i, I can't i i really can't remember anything that's how tired i am um he, he's just businessman you know he's being a jerk uh, you know, you know, you, you, your typical jerk businessman that you see in like every movie. This movie's, this movie's kind of, this movie's not bad, but it is kind of predictable, and, and it's not a bad thing at all. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's your stereotypical jerk businessman. Um, you no, know, he doesn't care about anybody but himself, and he, and he's all like, uh, and then, and then, um, he gets called into a room, and he's like, uh, uh this guy's like. You know what? There, there's this guy that can do his job and your job. He claimed that he can do that, and you know what? So because of that, you are fired. And he's like, hey, hey. you kid, you gotta be joking, right, man? You're gonna give Dax, you're gonna give him Dax the axe. He's like, hey, you're, you're funny. I'm gonna make that to you. So and then in the North Pole, some uh, the the. The ho ho ho. I, I don't know what the job is. Like, like I can't, I really can't remember anything. The, the ho ho ho. I don't know what even happened to the person. Like, I, I don't remember what happened to the person. Like, they, they meant, they like, the way they mentioned what happened to the person, it was like, they mentioned it, they, they, they talked about it for like one, like two seconds of the movie and they didn't even bring that up at all in any other part of the movie so they made it like oh, oh well if you forget that part whatever so i don't even know what happened to the old ho 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 or whatever or whatever the prisons is santa's head elf that's that's what the ho 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 is and now they need to find a new ho 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 so they get this girl Billy on the job, and she is trying to find the new ho ho ho. Is and since you know, since leads help, leads help. What? I am so tired. Oh my gosh! Santa Claus had a conversation with Dax or whatever, and I, I don't remember what even happened. Like that was like such an unimportant part of the movie. Like I was like. Yeah, whatever. But he didn't like say he was Santa Claus or anything. At least I don't think so. And then Dice just just complained. He was like, "Hey, you mean I lost my job? I lost my girlfriend? I lost my car? I lost everything?" By the way, the Miz is a very good actor. He's a very convincing actor. And then this girl, Billy, Billy Jean, shows up at his doorstep and she's like, um, hi, um, yeah, you want a job? I'll give you a job. Here, let me come in your house. Uh, you're, you're gonna do all this stuff and, and I'm not even gonna tell you what it is, which makes no sense. And he just goes along with it. I get that he lost all this stuff. What human being on earth will let a girl come into their house, right? And, and be like, oh yeah, I'm over in a job. And then you go along with all this stupid, crazy stuff, and you don't even know what the job is. And you're doing all this dumb stuff. He's like, mm, okay. <laughs> you're like, yeah, she's good looking. Okay, okay, we'll do it. He has to go through all these, these tests to, to prove that he's a nice guy and qualifies for it. Like, it made sense why he had to do it to prove that, 
but it didn't make sense that he did that. Like, why would in, in on earth would he do that and believe that she actually had a job? Like, what job would you have to do any of that stuff to prove to a boss or anything? Like, that just makes no sense. And you're not even telling him what the job is. Like, that girl seems like re that, that girl, like, if it was real life, this girl seemed like really sketchy. And everybody's like, oh my god, my car is just a movie. I get this a movie. I get that it is about Santa Claus, but if it's gonna be about Santa Claus, could you make the stuff that, like, is supposed to be kind of realistic, realistic, you know what I mean? And then it's so obvious. And, and this part is so funny, though. When, when, when he's working, when he's helping the old people work out or something like that, or volunteering at this, this place, and then he, he takes off his shirt. Because the old people tell him to take off his shirt. This old lady's like, come on, take off your shirt, Magic Mike. Take off your shirt. It's, it's just so funny. And then the girl starts dancing with him. And you're like, mm, come on. They're, 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 you know what's going to happen. They're, they're going to fall in love. We're going to become a cut. They're in love with her. They're in love. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then, oh, yeah, Paige's character. Ugh. Oh. They, you you probably seen it. There's something about Paige's character which is weird to me. There's a difference between her character and the Mrs. character. I don't know if it's just me. When I see Paige's character, when I look at her character, I can't get behind the fact that, oh, that's Paige from WWE. So when I see her, I think, oh, that's Paige. That's Paige. That's not, that's not the character. I don't think that. But when I see the Miz, I see, like, the character that he's playing. But when Paige is acting, I see Paige the wrestler. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know why it's like that. But it, it's, it's weird. But anyways, you know, Paige's character is evil. The, the, the evil person. You know, the, the evil person from England. And they're like, oh, you got to qualify for the job. Yeah, you qualified for the job. Yeah, we love you. We love you, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Paige is like, hey, like, you better hold up. I qualify for it, too. And we're going to have a debt. And they're like, oh, my God. He's going to lose. He's going to lose. It's, it's some type of obstacle course thing that, that him and Paige's character has to do. It's a thing to qualify for it. I don't know why he went through all that stuff, but a dumb playground is what makes you qualify for it. But this is not my business. Anyway, they're like, oh my god. Hey, this is Mrs. Claus. You want a cookie while you're watching them to go through the obstacle court? <laughs> oh my gosh. And they're going through the obstacle course, and everybody's just eating cookies. Then Paige is just just cheating. She's like, "No, no, I'm gonna trip you, dude!" And she's walking on him, and she's slapping him. She's not. She didn't slap. I don't. I don't think she slapped him. I, I don't even remember. I'm so tired. Then she headbutted him. Boom! And then he just fell. And then Paige gained the lead. And then Miz gained the lead again. Then Paige gained the lead again. And then at the end of it, Paige won. And I was like, okay. That, that, that's good. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Where's this gonna go from here? And it's like, woo, Paige win. Everybody's eating their cookies. They're like, man, not it. And they just walk out. That makes no sense. You're the North Pole. You, you guys are supposed to support everybody that's there. You're supposed to be nice people. And you're supposed to, you know, this is supposed to be a fun environment for everybody to express themselves. But no, you guys are are just jerks. You're, you're upset when somebody succeeds. That's that's disgusting. You, you're supposed to be nice there at the North Pole. I don't know what Santa Claus is doing with you guys over there, but it's disgusting. And then the Miz is like, done, I lost. And then he's like, no, man, oh well. And then Santa Claus is like, you know, you learned something a little better than being the oh, oh, oh. You learn how to be the better. You, oh, very good. <laughs> and everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, bruh. And then they're like, you know what? Just a page of scares. I forgot her name. They're like, 
you know what? You didn't show good sportsmanship, so you cannot be the ho ho anymore. It's somewhere here in the rule book. Let me see. Oh, oh can I see? It, yeah, it's here, but you, you can't see it. It's retarded. Like, so what if she didn't show good sportsmanship? She won. Like, that, that rule is bogus. Paige won that. Fair and square. Paige should be the new ho ho ho. But no, you get the ho 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 position to Billy Jean. Why do you do that, Santa? Santa Claus is a jerk. You are a jerk. Kid, by the way, I'm not saying like a, the real Santa Claus is a jerk. I mean like, like the Santa Claus in the movie. He's a jerk. But you know, in the years of Billy Jean, the ho ho ho, the Miz, the Miz is a nice guy. Dax is a nice guy. Now he's happy. He's doing things in the world. Him and Billy Jean get together like you all suspected. And honestly, this was a really good movie. I'm really tired. So, like, this is like, I think this is like a really sucky review. Like, I'm really, really tired. And I honestly, since I'm so tired, I probably made this movie sound like really bad. But. This movie was actually good. Like, it was it was good. Like, it was a solid movie. Um, I on a scale from like Alice in Wonderland to Fat Albert, Fat Albert's my favorite movie. So like, and Alice in Wonderland sucks. So on a scale like Alice in Wonderland was like the worst movie like ever. Alice and Wonderland, Alice and one whatever it's called. Alice in Wonderland, like, that, that movie just sucks, man. It's just so bad. Like, look, if you, if, if, say, any parents out there, like, that watch my videos, I don't know any parents out there that do watch my videos, but, like, if any of you are out there, or, like, if any of you that got, like, siblings, or anybody that's looking f to give somebody a gift for Christmas or something like that, like, if somebody's been mean to you for Christmas, put Alice in Wonderland in, like, their stocking or something like that, they're gonna be like, Ah! Ah! I in my stocking! Ah! <laughs> That's how bad that movie is, man. They're gonna, they're gonna be scared. They're gonna never be mean to you again. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna work. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Uh, out of 10 stars, I'd give it... I'd give this movie an 8. I really give this movie an eight. I think it's that good. The Miz acting, like, his acting is on point in this movie. Like, he's a really, really good actor. Um, If you didn't get a chance to catch it, I recommend that you um, check when it's going to come on again or you buy the movie because this, this movie was really solid. It was really good. And, yeah, I really recommend for you guys to check it out. It was a really good movie. It's funny. It's, uh... You know, it's a good movie to watch with your family around Christmas time. It's a nice Christmas movie. I think it's way better than Christmas Bounty. Um, Christmas Bounty was good, but I think it's way better than Christmas Bounty. Really a plane. And until tomorrow, you guys know what to do. Tell you every time. I tell you every video. All my social media stuff is in the description. And stay beastly. <gasps>